Greetings Marvel fans, welcome back to True Power Comics where we dive into the extraordinary world of all things super. Today we're about to embark on a thrilling journey into the darkest corner of the Marvel Universe. Get ready to meet the top 10 strangest Marvel villains that will make you question reality itself. Today we're diving into a deep and murky waters of Secret Empire, a storyline that left us scratching our head for all sorts of reasons. Now, Secret Empire had some great ideas, but one of the strangest moments was when our beloved Captain America decided to join the dark side and become a Hydra member. And I know what you're thinking, Cap as a villain? That's like seeing Spider-Man ditch his spandex for a suit and tie, it just doesn't feel right. At first we were like, okay Marvel, we see what you're doing here. A metaphor for rising fascism in American politics, right? But oh boy did that concept hit a speed bump faster than a Quinjet on autopilot. We were all for challenging our expectations, but turning Captain America into the Hydra Supreme? It felt like we stumbled into an alternate universe where Mephisto was pulling the strings. Cap, the symbol of hope, justice, and apple pie. Now wearing Hydra gear and yelling Hail Hydra? Um, excuse me, but don't we already have a guy for that? Yeah, the Red Skull. Why not give him a new paint job and call it a day? And can we talk about how Cap basically forgot his moral compass? He used to stand up against bad guys like Red Skull and Thanos, and now he's leading them? Did he slip on a banana peel and hit his head? Today we're diving into one of the X-Men's most iconic sagas, the Age of Apocalypse. Now, while this epic storyline didn't gift us with a ton of new characters, it did throw one of the weirdest villains right into our midst, Sugar Man. Imagine this, a giant face with not two, not three, but four arms strutting around in some questionable bike leathers. If that doesn't scream strange, I don't know what does. It's like if Professor X had a love child with an octopus and that kid developed a taste for punk fashion. This guy's got powers that would make even the blob raise an eyebrow. His tongue? Oh that tongue was no ordinary tongue. It could skewer people like a shish kebab at a mutant barbecue. And here's the icing on the danger room cake. This weirdo survived being blown up by a psi blast from chamber. Now I don't know about you. But if I get blown up, I'd be making reservations at the Afterlife's finest restaurant. Not bouncing back like a rubber mutant. Sugar Man was so cheeky that he decided to party crash the main Marvel Universe after the Age of Apocalypse storyline wrapped up. Like, talk about overstaying your welcome at the mutant shindig. I guess once you've been through a universe-wide event, you've got enough frequent flyer miles to teleport wherever you please. Hold your bananas, Marvel fans, because we're swinging into the wild world of ape-themed villains. Now, we all know that apes are pretty popular in comics, but Marvel's got a peculiar primate on their hands. The one and only Mandrill, a mutant who's basically a walking talking Mandrill with super duper physical abilities. That's right, he's got the strength and speed to put King Kong to shame, but here's where it gets downright bizarre. The Mandrill got a pheromone control power that turns him into a real knife Casanova for the ladies. Now I get it, Marvel loves to mix match powers like a game of mutant Mad Libs, but this combo is, well, bananas. On one hand, we can see why a Mandrill mutant might have the strength and speed, but turning into an irresistible love machine for human women? That's like putting a jet engine on a unicycle. Unnecessary and a bit too strange for my taste. Imagine being a hero trying to thwart this furry fiend and suddenly you find yourself helplessly falling for him. It's like the Mandarin and Cupid had a mutant baby and that baby turned out to be the Mandrill. Well, well, well. Hold up, comic book enthusiasts. 
because today we're diving into the murky past of a villain who was hot stuff in the Silver Age until something tragic occurred. Asbestos Man. Yeah, you heard that right. This dude fought the Human Torch with his fireproof armor and his trusty weapons made of, well, asbestos. So, back in the day, asbestos was all the rage and nobody thought twice about using it for anything and everything fire resistant. But, oh boy times have changed, and so has the outlook on asbestos. We know now that it's a major health hazard, a real life supervillain that causes cancer and all sorts of nasty stuff. So it's no surprise that asbestos man faded away faster than invisible woman. I mean, come on. Who wants to see a villain that's basically a walking reminder of the dangerous health practices of yesteryear? But wait, there's more. Just when you thought Asbestos Man couldn't get any weirder, he somehow made a comeback in the modern age. But hold your gasps, folks, cause now the writers have thrown a plot twist at us that nobody saw coming. Asbestos Man has cancer. Talk about a tragic irony. All those years of asbestos exposure have come back to haunt him like a vengeful specter. I guess it goes to show you that even in the world of comics, you can't escape the consequences of your actions. The Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family of superheroes. They burst onto the scene and kickstarted the Silver Age of comics all thanks to the brilliant minds of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. But hold on to your cosmic rays, folks, because with great heroes comes not-so-great villains. And none is weirder than the enigmatic Mole Man, a man whose origins revolves around one simple problem, being, well, unattractive. I mean, who hasn't thought about going underground to escape a bad hair day or a less-than-perfect complexion? But Mole Man took it to the extreme, burrowing his way beneath the surface and finding himself a bunch of bizarre buddies known as Moloids. Let's be honest, Mole Man is no super genius like Reed Richards or a god-like powerhouse like the Silver Surfer. Nah, this guy is more like a molehill than a mountain of a villain. He doesn't have flashy powers or a jaw-dropping evil plan to conquer the world. Instead, he spends his days hanging out with mole-like minions probably discussing the latest in rock fashion. Sure, every hero needs a villain to challenge them, but the Mole Man isn't exactly a top tier threat. If you ask me, he's more like the quirky uncle you invite to the family gatherings just to keep things interesting. Ah, Arnim Zola a true master of mad science and a walking exhibit of strange in the Marvel Universe. Now, you would think a genius like him would have no trouble coming up with a more conventional look, but oh no, he decided to take thinking outside the box to a whole new level by putting his face on his torso. I mean, let's be honest, who wakes up one day and says, you know what this world needs? A villain with his face on his chest like some sort of twisted Picasso painting. But. That's Arnim Zola for you, a man of peculiar taste and bold design choices. Sure, he could have gone for a more conventional villainous look, a cool cape, a menacing mask, or maybe just a regular face like the rest of us, but nah, that'd be too easy, too pedestrian. Instead, he decided to own his bizarre appearance and embrace the fact that he's the definition of different. But let's not forget. Beneath that unconventional exterior lies a mind that rivals even Reed Richards. Arnim Zola is a genius, and he's got the credentials to prove it. I guess when you've got a brain that's on par with the likes of Tony Stark and Bruce Banner, you can afford to be a bit eccentric. So kudos to Arnim Zola for being a true original in a world of cookie cutter villains. Which of these Marvel villains did you find to be the strangest? Let us know in the comment section. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, comics are greater with true power.